Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, we're gonna go over a quick comparison regarding three popular radar detectors, including the Uniden R8, the Escort Redline 360C, and the Escort Max 360C Mark II. These are all popular long range radar detectors uh, that have arrows and GPS built in. Uh, the Valentine 1 Gen 2 is also a really awesome choice, and I've got a separate video that kind of goes over uh, all the best options, including all these detectors and more. But in this video, I wanted to go over these three options specifically because I think they're good options as far as kind of like a plug and play ish detector that you can just toss in their windshield, uh, and it does everything that you need right out of the box. Now, I was originally planning on shooting this video shortly after the Max 360C Mark II came out. Uh, it's kind of going over like a more detailed comparison between these three detectors. That said, there were some issues uh, with the detector at launch that Escort has since been working on. I was expecting some of that stuff to get fixed, and I was also expecting uh, some of the unit and stuff like Bluetooth to already be released, and so I've kind of been holding off uh, on doing this video to get all of that stuff kind of finalized or waiting for them to finish it, right? Uh, but we're still waiting on all that stuff to really be implemented, and so I figured let's just go ahead and talk about uh, these three detectors. We're gonna do this video kind of in like two parts. First, we're gonna talk about what the detectors are actually like today, which I think is probably the most important way uh, to discuss this. Like you go buy the detector, toss it on your windshield, what are you actually gonna get? Second, we're also gonna have kind of a theoretical discussion of like assuming Uniden releases their Bluetooth stuff. And then assuming Escort is properly able to like fully solve the Genesis issues that we've been seeing uh, with alerting to certain radar guns like that, right? Um, and so in this video, let's go ahead and just kind of dive into more detail, uh, specifically regarding R8 versus Redline 360C versus Max 360C Mark II. All right, so starting off, as far as how the detectors actually perform today, right now, uh, between those three, currently my go-to pick is the Uniden R8 because of the fact that I think it just does the best job of reliably alerting to police radar. Uh, the Escorts, I think, do do a better job as far as their false alert filtering, but they don't necessarily like reliably alert to all the legitimate police radar guns that you're gonna need. And so while the R8 is gonna false more, which is kind of annoying, uh, I trust it more to alert me to something that is actually going on around me. And that at the end of the day is really what I'm looking for, right? A radar detector needs to detect radar. That's literally what it's called, right? And I think the R8 is gonna do a better job at fundamentally detecting radar. There's some issues there, particularly with the lockouts, which we'll get into in just a second. Um, but I think Escort like needs to work on that aspect more. Uh, they've been focusing more on kind of some of the secondary stuff, uh, like the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi and the cloud integration, which is also really nice. And assuming maybe they fix some of the other stuff, which is the uh, second part of the video is gonna be about, I think the Escorts could actually ultimately become the better option. But today, right now, if you need a detector, uh, the R8 is gonna be the way to go got the long range performance. It's very responsive against brief alerts. It's got some nice options to block out some uh, blind spot falses that I think the Escort would be nice if they added too. And overall, I think uniden has been doing a good job as far as pushing the envelope and giving us a good bang for the buck, like a good solid radar detector. Maybe not some of the nicest like build quality, right? They've got some issues in that respect, but overall, when it comes to the radar detection, I actually trust the Uniden option to do a better job of keeping me protected. And that at the end of the day, I think is what's most important. Now that said, I know both companies are working on improvements and updates to their detectors. Uh, Uniden, for example, they're continuing to work on Bluetooth. When it's gonna be released for the R4 and the R8, I, I don't know. Um, they're working on other stuff like their own laser jammers, which are gonna be uh, added to the R8, which is pretty cool. They're gonna have their optional wired control pad. I don't know when that's gonna come out. Maybe when the R9 is released, uh, expected in the spring sometime, maybe around then, but there's stuff that Uniden is working on. Um, Escort is working on stuff too. Uh, we know they've already released an update for uh, like the Redline and the Max 360C Mark II to improve the ramp up for the detector, which is a really nice welcome change. And they're also working on some improvements to things like alerting to the Decatur Genesis guns. Uh, unfortunately, the latest update that came out did not fully resolve the issue, but we were hoping that it would, but that doesn't look to be the case. And so let's say for the sake of discussion right now for the second part of this video, Uniden releases Bluetooth, right? They've got their laser jammers too, but I guess primarily Bluetooth. An escort also fully fixes the uh, Genesis issue and can reliably alert to different radar guns, both K and KA, and also do it with like good responsiveness as advertised on their website to have a very responsive detector, which currently isn't the case. But again, let's say for the sake of discussion that escort is able to give you good responsiveness, right? And properly alert to all the different uh, traditional police radar guns. In that situation, I think the escorts would actually be a better option. 
And the reason I say that is I think they're just going to offer more useful features. Like you take a look at them, they're all going to give you good long range performance. Yes, there are some differences there, but they're all going to be pretty good. Assuming the Escort gets to be more responsive and can alert to guns, awesome, that's very good. Plus they also do a better job of like some of the extra things that are also important but are kind of secondary to just raw police radar detection. For example, Escorts just have a better build quality, they feel better. Um, I don't really like the top mounted mute button, I prefer the front one, but in terms of like solidness, I do think the Escorts are better in that regard. Uh, the Bluetooth capability is already established, they've been doing Escort Live for like a decade now, <laughs> and now they have Drive Smarter. Uh, not perfect, the newer app definitely has its share of issues too, but at least they already have Android and iOS apps that are already available that let you change settings. Uh, they let you share alerts with the cloud. They let you see the speed limit of the current road that you're on right on the face of the detector. This stuff is already available from Escort and it works today. You can already go and use it now. Uniden, on the other hand, they're not planning on releasing their own apps for their radar detectors at all, which I think is incredibly surprising. I've never heard of a manufacturer who's like, oh yeah, we're gonna release Bluetooth, but not give you a way to actually use the Bluetooth capability. They're gonna be opening it up to third-party developers uh, to create their own apps for the detector, but currently the only one that I know of that's doing that is Highway Radar, which is Android only. So those of us who use iPhones, unfortunately, are not gonna have any options to use our detectors with Bluetooth at all. And so when it comes to the Bluetooth stuff, for all of the issues that Escort has with their apps, it's definitely going to be a better option. Similarly, when it comes to updates, Escort is just definitely better there too. Uh, the updates are much easier to do with their uh, Escort Detector Tool software. Just plug it into your computer and it does a much better job of finding the detector and updating it to the latest software. Every time Uniden releases an update, I kind of dread it because I know so many people are going to have issues with getting the detector to be seen by the computer or to have the detector uh, be able to be updated properly by the software or where do you go find the new software. It's just... Unit has been making some improvements here, but the Escort experience is much better. Plus, when you get the detector connected to a Wi-Fi hotspot in your car, or you connect to a Wi-Fi hotspot at home, the detector can just update itself for you in the car. And so, Escort has a lot of, like, extra bonus stuff, which I think is really nice, right? The apps, the Wi-Fi stuff, uh, etc. That's really cool. That's secondary to the fundamentals of radar detection, which is why I think currently the Uniden options are going to be better, but assuming Escort can get the fundamentals nailed, well, they're also going to have all the uh, like extra secondary stuff as well, and so ultimately I think it's going to wind up being a better option. Um, there's other stuff like the RDD immunity. The R8s can be kind of hit or miss. They're not fully Spectre immune. Uh, the Max 360C Mark II isn't either, but the Redline 360C is. And so if you need a fully stealth detector, well, the red line is going to be better in that regard too. It does cost more, of course, than the R8, but for those of you looking for like the ultimate high-end detector, I think a fully functional escort detector would be better than a fully functional <laughs> unit in detector. And so I know we're kind of getting into some theoretical discussions here. I have no idea like when this stuff is going to be released. Uh, if it does get released, is it going to work properly? Will there be other bugs introduced? or Is it going to work as expected? I don't know. This is very much a theoretical discussion. But for the sake of discussion, I think that a fully optimized escort detector will be better than a fully optimized Uniden. But coming back to like how things stand today, with Uniden, I think they're a better option in terms of just radar detection. The lockouts, I probably should have talked about this earlier, continues to be an annoyance with their detectors. I don't know why they can't get their lockouts fixed. It was a problem with the R7 and then with the R4 and then now with the R8. Like, I don't know why it's taking so long for them to get their lockouts to just work properly. So like a lot of times you have to manually lock out signals that auto lockouts won't trigger on, or you manually lock out a signal and it doesn't get locked out because you can pick it up farther away than the initial radius if you manually create a GPS lockout. Like there's a lot of annoyances with Uniden's implementation of lockouts. And to be fair, I think this also counts uh, in terms of like the fundamentals of radar detection to get your lockouts to work properly. You can kind of work around some of the lockout issues, whereas with the escorts, you can't really work around some of the limitations in terms of responsiveness and alerting to radar guns in the first place. And so for that reason, I'm still giving the current edge to the Unidens. But no, I still think that even they have their uh, work to do as well in terms of lockouts and improving the BSM filtering, maybe hopefully doing a better job of filtering out the Mazda CX-5s, which are a very common source of false alerts on the Unidens. So none of these options are perfect, none of them are ideal, none of them are optimal, all of them still have work to do. I'm not fully satisfied with any of them in their current form and fully comfortable recommending these as saying like they're the best, you know, spend 
seven, eight hundred dollars, and you're gonna get an amazing detector with no issues. That's not the case. I really wish that it was, and I've kind of been hoping that these manufacturers would update it, and I could do a video saying that's the case. But I've been waiting a little while. I figured I'd just do a quick update and kind of talk about the status of like the high-end unit end versus the high-end uh, escorts. Again, there's also the Valentine. That's a great option too, particularly who pair it with some of the Android apps. I know not everybody wants to do that. If you're an iPhone user especially, it's kind of a headache running a secondary phone, but that's a good option too. And I want to go ahead and mention that again. You can watch my video again, kind of going over the best uh, radar detectors across the board, including the V1 and many other options. I'll link to that video uh, down in the video description if you want to check it out. But anyways, uh, as far as kind of the best high-end radar detectors, Unidents for Escort, today, I'm still giving the edge to the Unidents. Tomorrow, two weeks, whatever, whenever these updates come out, uh, I would expect the Escorts to be better. But again, that very much remains to be seen in terms of when that's available if that becomes available and if it fully does even resolve uh, these issues in the first place. And so anyways, yeah, that's just a quick update regarding R8 versus Max 360C Mark II versus Redline 360C. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys are doing great and I'll see you in the next video.